V I P E R. We did it, a full week of workouts. I am going to show you a week of workouts, the ones that I actually did this week. And nothing was planned except for the fact that since I'm following the program that Caroline Gervin put together for Epic Heat, I wanted to keep up the program and keep to the schedule. So other than that, nothing else is planned. I basically based every other workout I did on a few things. My sleep score, my readiness score, and my HRV score from my aura ring, which this is right here. That's why I have it on. And also just tapping into how I felt that day after the workout or in the morning before the workout, just checking in with myself throughout the day and feeling out the vibe and the energy levels. So that's basically all I really did in terms of choosing the workouts that I wanted to do besides doing heat. All right. So here it is a full week of workouts. Let's get into it. Did a run this morning and now I am gearing up to do Caroline's Hit. Here we go. Caroline's Hits are some of the most challenging I've ever encountered in terms of hit training. I love it though because it really pushes me physically and also mentally. The way that I have to remember some of the sequences or just really focus and when I'm doing a Caroline Hit session, I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm a hundred percent in the zone and that is so key because that's really what I want when I'm working out. I want to really focus on form and just that mind muscle connection. But I have to say after the run, even though I did have steam left in me to do the Caroline hit, I gave it my all, but it was very demanding and some of the movements in there were just so intense but I managed and that was it for the day. So I'm really happy that I did it. All right, we did it. We did it. So happy. Those single arm burpees, those single arm push-ups. That was just so insane. All right, we are done for the day for our workouts. I started off with a nice little yoga session from Paula Lay. She has a channel called Yogini Melbourne and I absolutely love it. So I found one that focuses on hips and I do a lot of the hip ones, I will be honest, um, because I get tight in my hips. And on this morning, I was really tight in my hips after that run and the hit. Even though I stretched, you know, it just happens. I was so pleased to do this session. It really just set up the day for really awesome stuff because I felt really good and my hips were much better. Every time I start with yoga, I feel really good about it. I never regret starting with yoga. I definitely wanna make it more of a practice. So I'm working on that. Caroline's workouts always challenge me and I view that as a great thing. I'm really loving Epic Heat and today we had arms, shoulders. It was so difficult. I didn't go the heaviest. I went with a weight that I felt like I could challenge myself with, but of course it's not gonna be as heavy as I can go with lower body. So I really took the time to focus on form 
And there are still plenty of movements that I feel like I can improve a lot on, like skull crushers and pike push-ups. But the point is, is that I did it and you can only get better, right? After this, I felt like I had some more strength in me to do a little bit of a cardio focus workout. So let's see what I do next. All right, just came back from the walk. It was very nice, really great to get outside, get some vitamin D, a little bit of sun, and I have some energy left, so I've decided that I wanna do the Sydney Cummings agility training. I'm actually really excited because I love agility training. I love it so much. I prefer it to hit for sure. Um, and so I'm gonna try that out, and I, like I said, I really like Sydney Cummings. I think she's awesome. I love her training style. I will be talking more about her in another video. Sydney Cummings, here we go. That was really amazing. I really enjoyed it. She definitely made us work. And again, agility is one of those like functional training um, types of training. When you're switching direction, you're moving around, you have to go, you know, pick something up and then get up and crouch over and, you know, these powerful movements. And I really love agility. So I even got some intensity minutes from it. Went even up to like, I think I was like even at like 152 maybe, 156. Well, I'll check. I'm gonna check what my heart highest heart rate was um, during it. But it was excellent, and I am so happy that I did it. Really loved that one so much. Truly excellent, and I'm psyched about the intensity minutes. Yeah, and my heart rate is still a little bit elevated, so that's great. It's probably not the best that I did it this late in the day because I don't want to be affecting my sleep in a negative way in terms of doing activity too close to bedtime, but um, I still have a little bit of time to wind down before bed, so that's good. But honestly, I should have done this earlier, but what are you gonna do? It's all right. All right, so that is a wrap on Monday, Monday's exercise. Awesome, I'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday's exercises. Good morning, it's Tuesday morning and I am enjoying my cup of cacao before I do anything else. I did have water, that's true. I definitely am gonna do the heat day, I guess it's 17 at this point. Um, we have leg day, which for me is arguably my favorite training type of session for strength. Only thing is my hip is still a little bit tight. Not where it was tight yesterday, but uh, more of like the glute area. So I think I need to first stretch that out really nicely and then I'm going to do my Caroline. If I feel like doing something else, and if I can, if it's not pushing myself, then I'll do another thing, so we'll see. That's yet to be decided. For me, the big session is gonna be Caroline because I expect to be using um, my heavy weights. I have about 22 and a half pounds and I guess over 30 pounds that I'm thinking about using, so we'll see. I haven't looked at her session or anything yet, so I haven't previewed anything, but I know that if it's Caroline and if it's leg day, it's gonna be a challenging one, for sure. I started off with my own little stretch, just some of the moves that I remember from my yoga sessions. I just did whatever felt good, especially with regard to opening up my hips, and I just did a little tiny stretching, had some cacao in between, and made sure that I was all stretched out and ready to go for Caroline's heat session because it's legs today, baby.
Leg day with Caroline is always intense and today I used some heavy weights and it was enough for me. That leg day really got me spent and so the only thing I had energy for was a walk and it was lovely. Readiness score and sleep score were really good, so I'm very pleased about that. And I'm getting ready now to do day 18. It'll be chest and something else, but it's gonna be a tough one because there's gonna be push-ups in there and I, I definitely struggle with push-ups, not gonna lie, particularly when there are variations of um, like the tricep push-ups, diamond push-ups, that kind of thing, so. All right, we are now going to do Caroline Garvin Heat 18. Good morning, it is Thursday, my active rest day, and I looked at my numbers, they're really good. I looked at my sleep score and my readiness, and they're pretty high, which I'm happy about, and I have the energy. So the plan is to take a nice hike um, with some hills, and that'll be a really great way to get in a lot of the active recovery that I need, but also get some steps and also the intensity minutes if I go a little bit fast. So I actually just came back from a brisk walk that I did. And that was great because that was zone two training and I got some intensity minutes from that, which is really key because I'm really working on that as well as part of my training. It's active rest day, so I have to remind myself of that and not push it hard. <laughs> All right. Today's active recovery was absolutely perfect. I got a little bit of zone two and zone three and some intensity minutes, so I was very pleased about that. Did some hill training, and here and there I did a little bit of running, just for fun, because I'm trying to get better at trail running. And it was so peaceful and therapeutic just being outside in nature. What an amazing reset. I really, really needed it and it was gorgeous out. It was such a perfect day for it too. I absolutely love the reset and getting to be recharged when I'm in nature. Mentally, it is so powerful and it's also a great form of movement and activity. Hiking is hands down one of my absolute favorite activities. I just love being in the hills or the mountains, surrounded by trees and scenery, and finding a hidden path somewhere in the mottled shade is so serene and tranquil. It really does wonders for the soul. Sometimes I listen to an audiobook or a podcast, but to be honest, most of the time I'm just practicing mindfulness and I'm paying attention to the sights and sounds of nature because that's how I really enjoy it the most. In addition to training legs, I also really love full body workouts and Caroline's full body workouts are the real deal. They really target the full body, which is amazing. This one was definitely challenging. We had drop sets and it was very much a lot of time under tension, a lot of focus on form. And of course the finisher also got the heart rate up. So it was an amazing workout for sure.
Good morning, everyone. So today is Saturday, and I am going to focus on some walking slash cardio. So I'm really happy because I have so much energy and my sleep score and readiness scores were really high, so I'm pumped about that. And I'm having a little bit of coffee before my first cardio session. I'm not gonna do HIT today because tomorrow I have HIT with Caroline for heat, so I wanna make sure I have enough HIT energy, if you know what I mean. But other types of cardio will be fine. Even Caroline has as a suggestion to do like a list cardio where your heart rate is more steady um, and not like super high. But it's not just the heart rate. I feel like it's sometimes like, the brain power that I need for these complex movements in something like Caroline's hit, I need to reserve for maybe once or twice a week, probably once a week. But other cardios that I'm gonna do today are not gonna push me in that very high zone so that I have the energy tomorrow for Caroline's hit with heat. All right, so let's do the first workout. I'm very excited. This is a new person that I'm trying and it should be a lot of fun. All right, here we go. That was brilliant. I loved that workout. It was perfect to start the day. There was a lot of stretching. She gave a lot of great explanations. I did not go my max. I went about 70, 80%. It was perfect. I got a little sweat in. My heart rate was steady. It didn't even go past, I don't know exactly. I have to check my Garmin, but I kept it very bliss friendly. And so that was perfect. And I'm gonna have some food now do work, and then I'm gonna do something else in the afternoon. Haven't decided yet what. Could be dance, could be another cardio list, could be some Pilates. We shall see. training with Heather Robertson. I find that she has such fun sessions. I especially like her cardio. I think it's a lot of fun. I've done her kickboxing before and then this is a new one she put out so I had to try it. It was really great and I had these light free weights which was perfect for the occasion. And I found it to be a perfect way to do another cardio that got me smiling and it wasn't overly challenging. workout for today and it was great because I got a little bit of stretching in there got some ab work glute work upper body it was a full body wind down even though I did work relatively hard my heart rate didn't like skyrocket or anything and I don't feel like I really exerted myself too heavily um, nothing that will impact my hit session with Caroline tomorrow. Heat, hit, hit, heat. You know what I'm talking about. 
So I'm just gonna do a little bit of stretching and then I'm gonna get ready for bed. All right, I will see you guys then. The day has come, it is hit day. We are doing heat with Caroline. I'm actually very nervous, I always am, before Caroline's hits. There's something about Caroline's hits that just gets those butterflies in my stomach going and I do it and then I feel amazing afterwards. The struggle is real, but you know what? We're gonna embrace it. It's once a week, so I'm just gonna do it. Here we go. So my readiness score is not that high. It's been higher, especially this week. But you know what, I feel really good, so I'm going with also how I feel, and I feel energetic. And like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything else besides this hit. Probably just a walk, and that's it, and stretching. So I'm gonna be fine. Um, I'm kind of nervous, like I said, very nervous, but I'm also kind of excited because each hit with Caroline is an opportunity to sort of level up and in a way it's kind of like, you know those fitness tests, it's kind of like that where you get to gauge your fitness level and see how much more you can push it on the days that you can, like when you feel good. And I'm a firm believer in really listening to your body so like, if I'm following a program and I can't give it my all because my readiness score and my sleep score and the way I feel are not that high, right, in terms of energy, then I will not push it. Like, I will not. I might go at 50% or 40% or just not do it that day, right, and do something else and then catch up. So I'm a firm believer in that and today I feel like I can do it. So here we go. All right, here we go. My heart was just at 163, now 158. Ah. My heart's at 165. There's a 30 second rest. I've never seen this in a Caroline session. Maybe very rare, very rare. Okay, because we have one minute burpees, that's why. Here we go. Here we go. Finish our. I am absolutely drenched. I'm dripping, the sweat is stinging my eyes, and that was such a rewarding workout. It was so incredibly intense, so, so hard. But what else do you expect from our girl, Caroline? And like I said, I was very nervous about the hit, and did it, and I'm very happy I did it. Gave it my all. I think I went like 90%, 100% because I could today. So I like to take advantage of the time that I can push it that hard. So that's it, I'm just gonna end with some stretching. I'm probably gonna do a Yogini Melbourne, find something for my IT band, because it's a little bit tight. Now that I'm all you know, warmed up, I'm gonna be able to stretch out nicely. And so that is the story, my friends. So thank you so much for following me this week on my different workouts. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, let me know. Share in the comments what fun workouts have you been up to because in my opinion, workouts should be fun. That way we do them. And I look forward to hearing from you as always. Ciao for now.